Aren't you tired of unproductive business meetings? If you want to get better outcomes from your business meetings, then stay tuned. I'll show you a technique called the six thinking hats. For a better understanding, I will be explaining this technique step by step with an exercise. What are six thinking hats? The six thinking hats is a technique created by Edward De Bono to help group discussions and to promote a more effective decision making. Why six thinking hats? The human brain is used to think in a one-sided way. The power of the ego can lead to disastrous meetings and the members often fail to come to an agreement. The six thinking hats technique challenges the participants to think in six distinct directions or roles. These roles are represented by six colored thinking hats. First, let's see what these six thinking roles and the colored hats are, and then I will explain how to use them effectively. The blue hat is used to manage and control the six thinking processes. It defines the next steps and any action plans. The white hat calls for information known or needed. The facts. Just the facts. The red hat is used to express emotions and feelings and to share fears, likes, dislikes, loves and hates. The yellow hat symbolizes brightness and optimism. It's for thinking of advantages, chances and opportunities. The black hat represents criticism and judgment, spotting out the difficulties and risks. The green hat focuses on creativity, finding alternative solutions and new ideas. When do I use the six thinking hats? This technique can be used in all meetings where an agreement is needed, where all sides of an issue needs to be addressed, where problems need to be solved and where new ideas are required. Who should participate in a six thinking hats meeting? Those who have enough experience to contribute to the goal of the meeting. Those who value continuous improvement processes and are ready to invest time into it. And those who understand the six thinking hats technique. How do I use the six thinking hat technique? It always begins and ends with the blue hat. The sequences of the hats depend on the goal of the meeting. To give a few examples, if finding new ideas is the goal, then green hat for creativity should be used before the yellow hat for optimism and black hat for judgment. First you find idea and then you evaluate it. If evaluating an idea or a situation is the goal, then yellow and black hat should be used before the green hat. The yellow and the black hat will evaluate the idea and the green hat will find solutions for the risks that the black hat spotted. Let's play out an exercise using six thinking hats to see how it works in a real life situation. The goal of the exercise will be to evaluate an idea. I am going to use the idea from my previous video called problem solving techniques. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend that you watch it. You can find the link down in the description box. The exercise in that video was finding a solution for wrong deliveries. Wrong deliveries happened because of orders which were received through phone calls and had to be entered manually. Some of these manually entered orders were entered wrong. The idea in a solution was to forbid orders through phone calls. In our exercise, we will be evaluating this idea using the six thinking hats. Blue hat starts with explaining the goal of the meeting. Then everyone uses the white hat to give facts. For example, we receive 80% of all orders online and 20% by phone call. If we implement the idea, 90% of the customers will switch over to online ordering and 10% will stop working with us. And finally, finance department says that there will be 2% loss in sales from the total order 
which is equivalent to $50,000. After that, everyone will be using the yellow hat for optimistic thinking and express the benefits of the idea. We would save two hours a day when we don't enter orders manually anymore. We would speed up regular system updates by 40%. We would receive less customer complaints which were caused by wrong deliveries. Customer satisfaction will increase. We will save approximately $60,000 from returns and chargebacks. In the Black Hat session, everyone will express the risks when implementing the idea. We will lose some of our loyal customers just because they don't understand how to order online. When we forbid orders through phone calls, then we need more communication budget to explain the decision to our customers. The black hat is maybe the most powerful and important of all the hats. Spotting out the risks of an idea can play a crucial role for its success. The green hat will now find creative ideas to solve the risks that were mentioned in the black hat session. We will lose $50,000 in sales but save $60,000 of returns and chargebacks. That means we save $10,000 which can be used for the additional communication budget. We can create an online tutorial on how to order online which will help us manage these customers to switch over to online ordering. The green hat thinking found ideas to solve risks. The blue hat summarizes the discussions and leads further for an action plan. The idea can now be implemented. As we could see in this exercise, the six thinking hats technique helped address different perspectives of an issue, found ideas, and finally came to a mutual agreement. If the six thinking hat technique is done right, it can save enormous time in meetings. There are other techniques that help make decisions more effective. In my next video, I will explain about these techniques using an exercise from a real-life experience. What is your experience with the six thinking hats by Edward de Bono? Do you find explanations helpful or do you have more suggestions? What are your success factors for good decision making? Share your ideas with us in the comments below. If you liked the video, please like. If you like your friends, please share. If you like the channel, then please subscribe. And if you like to be notified, please push the notification button. See you in my next video.